Hello and welcome. We're looking at race diagrams, races, and uh, cycles in this video. First of all, the rules of the race diagrams are that they begin and end on stable states. The second rule is that you must include all three possibilities from the first unstable state at which the race occurs. Now, this is the transition table that we are using for analyzing our races. Now, notice that we have the squares with y1, y2, x1, and x2. So, each square is denoted by the value. And then, in addition to the square number, there's actually something inside the square. What's inside the square? Big y1 and big y2. And we're... The little uh, y1 and y2 equal the big y1 and y2. We have a stable state. So the stable states are circled in red. The rest starts when we move from a stable state to an unstable state that requires both y1 and y2 to change. And if you go back, you will see that this occurs in the second row in the only state in the second row that is not a stable state. You will see that what is in the squares is the opposite of what is in the unstable state in row 2. So, we can get to that square, which is 0, 1, 0, 1, from either the stable state 4 or the stable state 7, uh, converting the binary to decimal. So this is how we start our race diagram, from the stable state that leads to the unstable state which causes the race. So the first two numbers inside of the square identification address are the y1 and y2. So we can clearly see that square 0, 1, 0, 1 has y1 as a 0 and y2 as a 1, but what is written inside the square, what is written inside of the square is 1, 0, which is the opposite of 0, 1. The possibility of both of these outputs changing at the same time is very slim. So that's when the race occurs. And it can go in three ways. Either Y1 will change before Y2, Y2 will change before Y1, or by some miracle, they will both change at the same time. And that's indicated there and shown clearly. So study that and you will see that although the input is the same for all of the squares, the output or the y1, y2 is differing. What happens next? Well, we see that square 0, 0, 0, 1 goes to, zero, to 1, 0, 0, 1 which goes to 1101. And when we put back what we had before, we get our total diagram for the races in this transition table. And we see that there is only one possible outcome of the race, and that is indicated. And when there is only one possible outcome, the race is said to be a non-critical race. Now, how about cycles? A cycle is defined as when the uh, moving from one state, stable state to another, we pass through two or more unstable states. But that only applies during normal operation. Races are to be excluded because the path of a race is never consistent. So therefore, it does not constitute a cycle. 
even though it looks like cycles occur in races, cycles by definition are for normal operation of the device. So when we look at our total state diagram, we see that there is really only one cycle, and this is highlighted in the purple, where we're going from stable state at the top through two unstable states to the stable state at the bottom. Some students thought that what's there in the orange was a stable state, as a, sorry, a cycle as well, but unfortunately it's not because this is actually part of a race. And the reason why this is a race is shown by the circles where you can see that the zero one is trying to change to a one zero. So in terms of the numbered squares, our cycle is going from square zero, 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 right away down to one, one, oh, one, which is stable. Or as you can see here in our diagram, if you're just going to write down the actual states, state zero, zero to state two to state three. And as you can see, there they are. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you soon again.